Okay guys, welcome back. Um, I have an Adobe After Effects tutorial for you today. Um, we are using Adobe After Effects CC and not CS6, so um, I'm sure it'll work on both of them. I just prefer CC for some reason. But anyway, today's tutorial, I'm going to show you how to fly. So basically all you need is about a 10 second video of yourself running, jumping up, and running away very quickly. So open After Effects and this is basically what it looks like. It can be very intimidating in the beginning, I know it was like that for me, but you'll get used to it really really quickly. So basically import your video, let's go and look for it here. Here's a clip of me, so before we get started create a new composition. First step, always create a new composition. Let's name it Flying 1. Okay, um, HDTV 29.97 frames per second, square pixels, black background, color, okay, okay. Now we have our composition and we are ready. So here's your footage, bring it down into the composition and you will see um, that it appears on the screen. I'm into the timeline. Now this is basically the clip that you need to record wherever. Basically, sorry just jump and then run away out of the view so you're running in do you, sorry about it's really really slow so you're coming you're running in jumping up and then running away so let's get started with the tutorial so basically what you're gonna have to do is first step hit control D to duplicate the layer so now you have double video, uh, one layer on top of another. Doesn't matter, they're both exactly the same. So let's scroll to the point about, so you gotta jump to about there, right there. So where my feet are roughly off the ground, and I'm ready to jump up about there. So what you need to go and do next is you need to click on the top layer, you need to go up to edit, and you need to go split layer. So split the layer exactly right here. So now you got this coming in, jumping up, and it splits, and then you run away. Um, letting you guys know this tutorial is not very difficult. Um, it will be finished just now, and then you will be impressed. Um, first time I did this, I thought... <laughs> it was really cool um, not very professional looking though but I mean I guess if you go re try really hard on this you could make it professional looking so anyway let's carry on so now on this top layer what you need to do is as where you split it you can go up here layer styles time okay so you go time scroll to the right and then freeze frame so you click freeze frame right here so now for the rest of the clip, it's frozen. So now what you need to do is just hover above and click the top layer, the top layer of your video. So what you can do next is you can go up here and click the pen tool or you can just click G on the keyboard. So now you need to zoom in and you need to pen or mask out your whole body. So we can start here and you need to just go around the outline of your body uh, oopsies. so I'm gonna mask around my whole body you guys need to do this get everything around here I'm gonna come back when it's finished I'll see you now okay guys um, I'm back now as you can see I've masked around my whole body and um, going all around here so that you get a nice outline I haven't really you know done this properly for tutorial purposes so that we can get this done quicker so now what you've done is you've got this so basically it flows in you jump and then that happens so now the masked out body is stuck and the other one is running away okay so what you're going to want to do 
is you want to go scroll keep scrolling until everything is gone now as you can see my body is gone but over here the shadow is still here so I'm going to take it to the point where the shadow is gone which is right right about there okay so I'm going to take this bottom layer which is the background and I'm going to drag this all of this where my body is being shown see all of this and I'm going to take it to about so we, where do we say the shadow was gone right there I'm going to drag this all the way here so that all of this has got no shadow and no body and then I'm going to drag this so that it is in line with all of this so now if we do a playback RAM preview just let it render quickly and what we can see is happening now is you jump and it stops so if you click on the top layer you can see that you run jump and then the mask stops so it's frozen now so now what we have to do is we need to edit this mask of my body and we need to take it so that it moves. You need to make it move now. So what you need to do for this is you need to click on the top layer and hit P on the keyboard for position. What we're going to do is we're going to scroll right here until the mask shows. Boom, right there. So don't forget to click this otherwise you'll be masking out the whole video. So you click on the body and you see this little stopwatch over here it's for keyframes and I need to put keyframes in in order to make this body move so we're going to hit that stopwatch and it makes a keyframe so this is where it starts so the keyframe is like a bit of information that tells us that over here at this time this information is inputted so now we're going to scroll a little bit forward just about that much and we're going to zoom out a little bit and we're going to drag the body oh no so I clicked a what's the name? No. Okay. I'm gonna drag the mask all the way out of composition view, out of the video view. So now if we scroll back and we click the preview, sorry, let me just click the preview, you can see that you fly away. Now that's basically what your objective was today, is to get you to fly away. Looks pretty good and you flew away let's just shorten this video because as you can see over here it just does nothing and then it goes black so we want to end the video let's just watch it a little bit more jump fly away and we want to end the video we want to end the video about here so you click hold and drag this which shortens the length of the video so now let's preview this and see so basically you've, you've done an what you came here to do jump and fly away but now there are a few effects that you can add so what I did in my um, in my practicing before the video is I went keyframe assist easy ease so that just makes it a little more softer if you know what I can say the, the whole flying away effect it's just previewed from the beginning so it just makes the whole flying thing a bit more smooth. Mm. Actually, maybe this didn't. Let's just... There we go. Whoopsies. We said about there. Preview. Running, running, jumping. It was actually, it was actually fine the way it is. Now, obviously for tutorial purposes it's not perfect it's very fast not very professional looking but let's just drag this a little bit further get more of a slow flying effect yes okay now what we can do to make it look a little bit better is we can add a blur so that as you fly away you know it doesn't look like a still image so click on the top layer which is the mask, go to effects and presets or you can go to effects at the top here. I go to effects and presets so a lot faster, type in blur 
and there are many different options to choose from I do directional blur just for this because you know you're flying in a direction type in 180 and bump up the blur to about so you can view it over here you see now it's getting really blurry we don't want it that bad Let's just scroll it back a little bit so you can see the blur you want not that much about three so now if we preview this again we can see that you fly away and there's a bit of blur Maybe we can do that blur a little bit more, Let's say 4.5. Just gives a bit more effect to the whole situation, I guess. And there we go. So now it will start again playing, and there's your flying effect. So, what you do now is you can. If you're happy with it, if you want to tweak a few more things, I guess, uh, perhaps do this keyframe to easy ease out. So it gives it more a slow start. So you slow and then you just burst out I'm not sure but play around with it if you need to after effects then I hope you guys are doing fine it does take a while to learn I must say but you'll get there so now if you want to export this you do not go file export you go composition add to render queue it took me a long time to figure this out so what you need to do now is you can see your render settings is best. Go here to output module. I'll change this to a quick time and everything else should be fine. Audio on so that there's sound when you render the video. Go here, perhaps just save it somewhere. Just save it in pictures, quick time, save in subfolder if you want. Save and render. Now what it's going to do is it's going to render the video so that you can save, so that it's basically saving it on your computer as a video file, as a quick time file, that's what we saved it as. Well guys, I hope you found this video interesting, I tried to make it as user friendly and beginner friendly as possible. So, I hope you guys found it easy to understand, if you didn't let me know, leave a comment below. And um, After Effects is a lot of fun. I hope you guys enjoy using it. If you do use it, if you don't, buy it or download it for free. It is a ooh, it is a special effects software that you can use for a lot of stuff, not just this 3D animating as well. So I hope you guys enjoyed. As you can see, I've also got Adobe Photoshop which I'm going to do tutorials for as well if you want. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Felt like doing something different. See you guys next time.